again, welcome to another installment of Uncle Dick's Kitchen. Um, recipes. We all have our own favorite types of food that we love to eat, whether it's our ethnicity, our families, however we grew up, our environment. Um, the recipe that I'm sharing tonight is a favorite handed down from my grandmother, Lula Grace Alice. And uh, as a young kid, I remember having this at their family dinners. Um, it's really good. It's uh, kind of a play on pork chops with a gravy sauce. Um, gravy sauce being mostly the stewed tomatoes. Um, it's uh, kind of a, a simmering process again. It's going to take 45 minutes to an hour for this to finish. But the putting it together stuff takes no time at all. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start browning up my pork chops and get them set off in a plate and I'm going to use the juices off of that to put my veggies in and start that sauce. So what I got here is a couple of pork blade steaks and I've split them into four pieces there and we're going to put some salt and pepper on them and then we're going to fry them in that pan and put a little brown on them and then we'll add these other ingredients that we have here into the pan and what we're doing is called granny's pork chops and i got my four pieces of blade steak quarter cup of apple cider vinegar half a cup of brown sugar some green bell pepper and some Walla Walla sweet onion and there's a can of stewed tomatoes, salt and pepper, and cinnamon. That's all going to go into this. Tastes really good. Okay, so we've got the pan on here. It's starting to warm up. I'm going to take these salt and pepper steaks here, pork steaks, lay that in the grill. Just going to put a slight brown on these, then we'll transfer them to a plate. The juices that we're going to get off this, even though I put a little bit of olive oil in there first, are going to marry in with them vegetables, just saute and then veg veggies. It'll give it a little flavor. Really good. Got some taters all set up. My sous chef wifey Carol Ann. Cut me up tomatoes and, and all kinds of good stuff here to go in there. So, just going to get these brown. That's all. A little more salt and pepper here. Ooh, not really good. Mmm. So you can see what we're trying to do is just put a little color on them, sears them, help pull that juice in there. Just season them, a little salt and pepper. The reason this takes a long time to cook, when this is done, that meat is just going to fall apart. It will melt in your mouth. We're just going to continue on with this. Okay, now we're going to get started on the sauce here. What we're going to do first is we're going to saute up these veggies here. My new chef wifey cut up for me. Getting all them juices from them top. 
in there. heat about half medium whatever you want to call it I'm not trying to scorch them just trying to get them to cook up a little bit so this sauce is stewed tomatoes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Round sugar. One quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. And we are going to get this all mixed in. I like to break the tomatoes down. Sometimes your stewed tomatoes are cut up better. These just happen to be what we got on hand. Going to make it work. One thing about doing home recipe cooking is making it work. You can make substitutions. You can do whatever you want to at home. Cinnamon. This is the little differentiality that, that really brings this out. Should use about uh, half of a teaspoonful. That would be more than enough. That might be a little bit more than a half a teaspoon, but I've been doing this for a while and I know where to stop. Oh my. That smells so good. Okay, so we're going to cook this sauce down and get it where I want it. Then I'm going to put them chops back in. Cover it and we'll cook it for 45 minutes. Okay, so here comes the simmering part. Now this takes about 45 minutes for that to cook. What I'll do is I'll check them with a fork when they're about done and they should just fall right apart. But they'll taste so good because they'll be uh, sitting there and marinating in that there sauce and just drawing it all in just covered that bad boy I'm gonna set the timer for 45 minutes and just sit back and wait there's them taters on the boil got us some broccoli back here I'm gonna steam that it's in a steaming basket I got about a cup and a half of water in there with just a touch of vinegar and here are our pork chops and they are getting all nice and tender. I just checked them. They's just about ready. Yum, yum. Got about eight more minutes on them. Okay, taters are done. Meat's done. Look at how tender this is. That's a bowl. 
Look at that, this peels right off there. It's so tender, so tender. And we got us some broccoli steaming back there. That's just about ready. Go we'll mash them bad boys up. Here we go. There you have it. Granny's pork chops. A little bit of broccoli with a little bit of pepper and butter on it. And then the mashed taters with that gravy sauce over them. It's yummy. So there you have it. Granny's pork chops. About four really nice size pork chops or like we use pork steaks tonight. Um, it's got a 15 ounce can of stewed tomatoes in it, half a cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of vinegar, salt and pepper. Diced up some onion and some green pepper and put in with that. It's really good. And we had the broccoli with the butter and pepper on it and mashed taters. Mashed taters, just a little pat of butter, a little bitty dribble of milk and smash them all up and get them all nice and creamy. It tastes really good. And uh, don't get the little bit of cinnamon there because that is the kicker on this stuff. It really is something different. Um, it's an old family recipe from my grandma Lula Grace. God bless you grandma. Miss you. Hope you enjoyed the video.